since I grew up, there's been certain tunes in my repertoire that I have felt really cringy about. Tunes like Mrs. McLeod's Reel or The Fairy Dance, Deal Among the Tailors, The Jig of Slurs and The Athol Highlanders. I don't know what it is about them. I don't know who made me feel like that. I remember back in, I think it was 1990 at Sidmouth Folk Festival, I heard the fabulous piper Becky Taylor playing The Athol Highlanders and I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it and I wrote a tune about her playing it. It was called Becky Taylor's Audacity. <laughs> Actually, it's an amazing tune, the Athol Highlanders. I was just looking up some amazing history about it. Originally, it was a Shetland tune and it was called The Three Sisters. It was a pipe march and it was called The Gathering of the Grahams. And it was the regimental march of the 77th Regiment of Foot, which was formed in 1778 and disbanded in 1783. Quite amazing, actually. I mean, how could I actually be thinking that a tune as classic as the Athol Highlanders, as fabulous as the Athol Highlanders, could actually make me feel cringy? It's really stupid. These tunes, they have an entitlement to be heard. They're not still being played for no reason. They're fantastic. The Jig of Slurs, Athol Highlanders, what a great two jigs played together. What lift they have. Here's a version of the Ithel Highlanders. <laughs> So what's my message to myself? Don't forget the old tunes, Simon. Continue to breathe life into them. Make them feel as new as the day they were born because they're so worth it. And the stories that they tell, they're the stories of why we play traditional music today. See you later.